Hello YouTube, all our friends and subscribers and casual watchers. Uh, you know, we're walking drama. The uh, past three or four places we've lived has been not so good and getting worse and worse and worse. The uh, only good thing about where we're at now is you get more peace and quiet. A uh, whole host of other issues. But then again, uh, Joe and I were talking the other day, and if what he was doing was not in a very strong, bold way for his king, who is Christ, Jesus Christ, uh, and me too, in my small way, none of this would be happening. But if, you, if you're going to stand bold for Christ and uh, Christ, the King of Kings, uh, you can expect chaos from every direction. And boy, are we getting it here. Oh, it's a mess. Uh, and to top it off, the president of the association out here is a preacher, is what I hear. Uh but you know the church is falling away. But I'll get off of that. Uh, my two favorite uh, amateur boxers right now are Zeke Castro and Kirk Williams. And uh, Zeke's dad has let me know <clears throat> There's going to be a Golden Gloves tournament going on in Colorado next month in September. And both these boys are signed up for this tournament at 125 pounds. So it's very possible, even though they are miles and miles apart, that uh, in states apart, Many states separate them. Uh, the possibility of these two guys clashing is as close as it'll probably ever get, at least in the amateur ranks here. So that'll make for very interesting watching. I hope there's some way that either Kirk Williams or his team or Zeke Castro and your team can uh, live feed a stream to all of us. I don't, I don't know if it be what's allowed there. Uh, but this is uh, Olympic qualifiers, and this will be very interesting. Now, how will I call the fight? I'll call it this way. I'm not calling the fight. I have an internal opinion of who I think will win. I have an internal opinion on who needs to do what to counter the other one. Uh, but I love both these boys, and I don't dare get in the middle of that. I wouldn't dare do it. I love both these these young men, and uh, both young men are very upstanding, uh, and and good young men. So it's going to be very interesting for me. Uh, I have a feeling. I believe Zeke's dad told me that his daddy told me that there was. 28 competitors slotted in at 125. So it's going to be a lot of a lot of young men there. A lot of young men. This is, that event's going to be very exciting. And uh, I wished I had the money and the means right now. I'd be I'd get a plane there, and I'd be sitting there watching every bit of that for sure. It's going to be very exciting. Um, 
I haven't heard. I know Kirk's in college now. Uh, I know he's very busy, very, very busy. And I believe I understood that correct. So Kirk hasn't been putting much information out here lately. But you know what they say. When you when you're when you're not putting much out, maybe you're maybe the time that you are preparing is more quality for you. And we all know Zeke's always in preparation. So this is gonna be very interesting. Very interesting. If, if indeed they both face each other. Uh, the odds are against it because I believe the odds would be 2 and 28. And I don't know how to do the math on that, really. Joe could sit down and do it. Uh, I'm not quite that e evolved and uh, lost a lot of my knowledge over the years. So... Uh, but kudos to both these young men. Uh, they're both my outstanding picks. If you go, uh, I'd suggest all to all you guys go uh, subscribe to uh, Zeke Castro, and I would encourage you to go subscribe to uh, Kirk Williams and both their channels. Maybe I'll leave a link for both of them. Uh, down in the description and or pinned comments. Uh, Zeke had a very interesting last fight uh, that'll be good preparation for him uh, in the event he does fight Kirk Williams. Uh, this guy was six foot one that he fought. Uh, now the guy weighed more. Uh, than Zeke. He was 135, I believe. Uh, but they, Zeke couldn't get nobody to fight him, and this 135-pounder stood, uh, stepped up to compete against him. So that guy was a lot stronger, but Zeke really took care of that quite easily. Uh, Zeke is not so much used to fighting guys uh, over six foot tall uh, as Kirk is fighting guys Zeke's uh, height. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting but uh, Zeke and boy Lord have mercy uh, and I and, and I will get to Kirk in a second because I'm not going to downplay either one of these young men. Uh, Zeke is something else special, strong as hell. Uh, and is something else special, strong as hell, or, or fast as hell. Uh, he, he's got it all. Uh, Kurt is improving uh, every time I see him. His punching power is drastically improving. So this is going to be real interesting. And, and Kurt's no, uh, no slowpoke Rodriguez either. He's, he's fast. Uh, not, not, not as fast as uh, Zeke. Zeke's just crazy fast. And Zeke's got a lot of power. He's, he's a lot of tools in his toolbox. But Kurt's been really drastically improving. So if these two guys go head to head, boy, it's going to be very interesting. Very interesting. And I want both of you boys to know I have tremendous love and respect to both of you. Tremendous love and respect to your dads, your mothers, your families and your teams because uh, you two guys got it going on in all those areas and you don't see that much anymore you just don't see that and I, uh, both both boys have good strong fathers in their corners uh, good strong trainers in their corners uh, good strong supporting cast around them and this is going to be very interesting 
very interesting. And I am looking forward to it. This is my, uh, I'm looking more forward to this, folks, than I am the next big professional thing that's going to be going on. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting what happens. And I don't know what's going on with you boys, but I, or your dads, or your families. We're going through a lot of turmoil, uh, chaos, confusion, and things like that. And if any of that creeps up on either one of you two young men or your families, remember this. Uh, bad forces will come and try to pull you down. There is God and there is Satan. And Satan tries to work through people to disorganize, create chaos, create doubt, uh, bring others against you in a variety of different ways that may have nothing to do with what you do, uh, but just to pull you away from your concentration and all of that. So do what we do in a real chaotic way place we're in in life right now keep working through it that's my suggestion to both you boys um and your families the dads and the teams and everybody uh, keep the focus keep going forward vent when you need to venting is real good and i do that a lot I, i'm a venter so dads if you need to vent trainers if you need to vent vent get it out uh Boxers, if you need to vent, get it out, but then try to let it go and keep keep you walking on. It was the great Custy Amato who said, the mark of a champion is one who, and I'm paraphrasing, the mark of a champion is one who is going through the chaos and the problems of life, which uh, could be seem insurmountable at times uh, could be from any area of life could be a death uh could be any form of chaos and confusion it could be anything uh, but the mark of a, a great champion is one who can work through while all that bad stuff's happening one that works through it and you can do it and keep doing it if you no matter what you young men have going on in life uh or your teens, or your families, or your dads. Uh, keep working through it, no matter what comes up. Uh, remember that that, in the scheme of things, is a grain of salt uh, compared to what you're doing and what you're trying to achieve. So uh, we know bad forces are constantly on, on the attack, creating chaos, despair, confusion, uh, anxiety, all sorts of stuff with us almost on a weekly basis, uh, close to a weekly basis. And we just keep marching right on through it. And uh, like I said, you know, Joe and I had a talk and we both came to the conclusion if he were not going to put his king at the forefront of his success, and give his king, the king of all kings, the honor, wouldn't nobody be messing with us. There wouldn't, we wouldn't have the problems the everyday guy out there has. Uh, we just simply, we would have the problems the everyday guy has out there. We wouldn't have the, problem, the more serious problems that, that we're dealing with now. Uh, so we relish in it and we enjoy it and we even give the Lord thanks for the problems that we have because uh, uh, it builds character and strength for Joe to use later on. So uh, it helps build character and strength in my old family. So nothing but love to my two favorite uh, amateur champions nothing but love and good luck to you and as the fight draws uh, or the tournament draws closer I'll start putting more of a focus on on you two young men and you know families or teams uh, to talk about you and help promote you as I can 
Um, and remember from us, Zeke Castro, Kirk Williams, nothing but love to, to you two guys and your families and mad respect to you two young men.